This is a pull-up bar. These are two kind of fit, kind of fat dads. We asked Google, should a man be able to do a pull-up? The result? The answer will shock you. The pull-up. And no, we don't mean this thing. Protect like a diaper, even overnight. And I can pull them off and on. Let's talk about the pull-up, Blair. Yeah. When did this thing, uh, you know, when it when did pull-ups become a thing? So, warrior training. Warrior training. Warrior training. Warrior okay. training. Greeks and Romans. Spartans! <laughs> <laughs> Those are Spartans, yeah. Not... <laughs> Not Greeks or Romans. The they 300 the, said, we will do 300 pull-ups. Yeah, no, wait. Wait, the Spartans were Greeks, right? Yes. Yeah, they were. This is not his. Do not test me on history. Oh, okay. I think, the, I think yeah. Because I will fail you. Greeks. Yeah, that's it. Uh, anyways, well, so, of course, Prussia, right? 1700s. That's when it really became popular because uh, gymnastics back in there, like the Russians, they created gymnastics. And, you know, when you used to back then that's what you had to do right you they didn't really lift weights back then so it's body weight the so old, old calisthenics old calisthenics going out, going out. yep yeah. um so then it, as it evolved and we got into the 50s 60s 70s and 80s um body weight right and bodybuilding became popular um by by who we know who right um, oh no get to the chopper chopper yeah get neighbor. to the pull up bar i'm your neighbor <laughs> that's great commercial by the way <laughs> um so yeah it made was made popular um back back then but i think it's really been popular in the military culture right well it was was i mean the marines knock them out all yeah, day long yeah. it used to be it used to be a staple of the combat fitness right. test uh Army physical fitness test, Marines and all that. And you know it was a now, staple. Now they do a lot of dead hangs. Okay. At least the Army does. But gotcha. the Marines, man, I was talking to Marine last night. I just said, hey, man, what what do you got to do to, to max this thing out? He's like, 20 dead hang. I was like, okay. Was 20 like, dead hang. Yeah, he's an old Marine. I said, yeah. well, well, how many do you do? He's like, I don't know anymore. I was like, well, it's because you just you'd lose count. Is that where you're at? <laughs> That's right. He's like, I pulled the bar to me. Hey, there you go. <laughs> well, hey, it was also a staple of the elementary – Physical fitness test. What was it? National fit test. Like presidential fitness president. test. That's it. Yeah. That's How it. did you do on those? Uh, ne- never good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> never, oh, I did. I did actually did pretty good until the pull up, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Well, I would. I would same thing. I would knock them out. Yep. Even the V set and reach. Like, oh yeah. I had tight hamstrings yeah. as a kid. But I would hang on that pull up bar, and it was always the last one. Oh or, yeah. You know, everybody would kind of do theirs, and they'd be like, "Yeah, I made it." Yeah. I'd be like towards the front, leading it, and I'd get up there. I'd, I'd be like, just you know. Like a bobber on a line, just sitting there hanging on the bar. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. I think at one point I got back before you know kipping was a thing and doing kipping pull ups. Right. I think I got to swinging a little bit and pulled myself you did, up. Did I those got, convulsions? Where yeah. Your knees oh yeah. Up. You're like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and my knees at the wall, and the coach was like, "That didn't count." And I'm like, "God, you got to give it to me." Yeah. And the pull up yeah. bar would be so close to the wall. Anyways, yeah. we're enough. Yeah. So interesting facts: the world record holder for most consecutive pull ups or unbroken, as we like to call, is Kenta Adashi, and that is 651 in a row. In a row. In a row. In a row. And we're getting to the point as should a man be able to do a pull up? Right. Right. Not to mention how many. Six hundred and fifty one. Right? All right. So I don't know if we're still thinking as man. But uh we talked about a marine to yep. max it out is twenty. 20. Yep. The minimum is three. Okay. But we keep it is it like a test of strength? So you look at the world's strongest men, yeah. the four hundred pound strong men. Brian Shaw. Have you yeah. seen these guys oh, try to yeah. do pull ups? Oh, struggle yeah. bus. Yeah. So I think he got he got that like six, right? I think it was well, if you watch the video, there's uh there's some kipping going on. Is there. it really? I, I would no rep him on several of those. <laughs> on strict, right? On strict. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not gonna get in the the habit of no repping world strongest nah, guys, knowing those no. guys uh, He'll squash you. could absolutely squash yeah. me. So we're gonna give him credit for all yeah. six well, and all that. And for other big boys around the world. <laughs> Other big boys. All right. So back to our question. Should a man be able to do a pull up? The answer is yes. No doubt about it. The answer is yes. And so the question is not about should a man do mm-hmm. a pull up? It's how many. So we'll go back to our question. Is it one? Is it two? Is it more? But before we get there, let's talk a little bit about the benefits 
of doing a pull up. And I'll I'll start, Blair. I'll okay. start. All right. All right. If you want all the benefits, go Google it. Go watch any IG. You're gonna fill your head. The number one benefit is that you walk into wherever you go and you pull your big butt up. <laughs> it's a flex move, especially flex when you're move. a big dude. I agree with that. You just walk in. I agree with you're that. You're like, what's up? I mean, who cares if you can deadlift 500 pounds? If you can't pull yourself up, I think that immediately you lose some credibility there. Oh, man. So then I, I must lose a lot of credibility. Well, don't give the show away. <laughs> I, I've got com- complete faith in you, man. All right? So, and then, you know, the other thing is like if, you know, not falling off a cliff. That would well, be the yeah. other one, yeah. right? Like I, I look at the movies like Cliffhanger yeah. and Die Hard. Like those guys are one arm hanging, right? Like you got to pull yourself back up. They make it look so easy, right? I mean, you know, it's, it's, I don't know how that happens in the movies. <laughs> so, right, like pulling yourself up, up, not falling off a cliff. It looks easy. Just anybody your, can do it. Pull Just yourself do it. back up. Yeah. I, I think you know. I went to Everest Base Camp. Yep. Like, had I slipped and fallen off. Would I have been able to pull myself yeah. back up on the cliff, or would I've just kind of dangled there and, and fallen off? You were lightweight back then. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all about the point. <laughs> all right, so let's let's get a little cons of the pull off here. Pull up, pull off, 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 pull, off. pull, off. pull up. Well, so here's one. So there's all different variations, right? You can go. I mean, you can go reverse grip. Kipping is a big controversy now. Yeah, it's yeah. a big controversy in that. Um, you know, you can go reverse grip, pronated, supinated, wide, narrow. What's the standard? One arm. One arm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No arms. No arms. <laughs> um, so yeah, and, and I mean and we're big men, right? So some men are bigger d- than d- others. Just so kind of like towns. <laughs> Refer to a previous episode. Yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, but just even body weight comes into play. I mean, you know, it, it's one thing for a 135-pound male to pull their body weight up. And I'm sure there's quite a few out there in the 130s to 160s that may not ever work out. But guess what? They can probably pull their body weight up. Well, it goes. It's kind of the opposite of the other videos where we did, yes, where yeah. weight, weight is in weight. your favor. Weight moves weight, but here, weight it goes against not you. moving yeah. weight. Yeah. All right. So there's some other things too. And I, I kind of, I don't think we really talked about this much in the bench press, mm-hmm. but the length of your arms. I mean, there yeah. are truly mechanical advantages and disadvantages. You got shorter arms, you don't have as far to pull yourself up. Yep. If you got longer arms, it makes it obviously oh, yeah. harder. We, we already talked about weight, but. I've noticed a trend too. People that have big legs, right? Like swole, you know, lower trunk. Like, like that's what? harder for them because they've got a lot of weight. Like, like my calves. Like look at you, calves <laughs> McGee over there. Like you got a lot. Yeah, you got, got a, a lot. That's right. That weight's lower. <laughs> it is. You, you got a. You got a, a lot. You know, further to pull mm-hmm. it up. So that those are some things. I mean, but we talked about kipping. We can't leave here without talking about kipping. Yeah. Do you count kipping pull-ups as an actual pull-up? I do. Okay, why? I, I, I do. I think it is it, because you're still pulling your body weight up. Now, are you using momentum and things like that to help you? Absolutely. Uh, I think it is a variation of a pull-up, right? Um, I mean, if you're wanting to really just talk pure raw strength, yeah, strict's the way to go, 100%. Um, but there is, you know, Kipping is built in for a reason. Um, you know, I, you'll hear a lot of people that knock it. Uh, I think in a v- kipping is used for volume. The progression should be get your strict pull ups down and then add the volume if kipping is involved and if you have the shoulder mobility. And, and, if, and if that's you're working out for high volume, then you use kipping. But does kipping actually strengthen you in strict pull ups? Um, it helps with the range of motion. I, I heard no. You heard no. I heard no. Your pause there said everything <laughs> I needed to know. So I would liken it to this. Okay. All right, we'll count it in the family of pull-ups, but we won't count it as the big daddy, right? Like no, you, you've not no, proven I agree with yourself. Yeah. Like you can't say, yeah, I can go over there to do pull-ups and yes, go knock I out heard. twenty. Yeah, kipping I, I, and be I, like, yeah, I'm in the strict yeah, category. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I would liken it to. Uh, kipping being the push press, right? Yeah. Versus a strict, a strict press. overhead yeah. press. Yeah, that's fair. Right. Yeah, so that's that, fair. I think we can it's we're a include it in the family. Right. Completely. But it's two a variation. Two different right. things there. All right. 
So we made it, right? What did Google tell us, right? We know a man should be able to do a pull off. Pull off. <laughs> You've done that twice. Pull now. off. <laughs> pull I'm talking off. Pull off. Pull, pull up. And we went to our good buddies at strengthlevel.net mm-hmm. to put this number out here. And they have a lot of different variations, right? You can look at it by weight. You can look at it by age. You Ooh, can look I'm, at it I'm by just total, total roll up. Okay. So total, average, looping everybody, all ages, all weights, men, mm-hmm. 14. Woo. To be at intermediate level. Woo. Somewhere between one and three to be a beginner. And then I think you get up to 37 to be at elite. That's a lot of street pull That's a lot. Now, I did look into the kind of fit, kind of fat dad territory. Okay. So, one. Good news, bad news is, is that there's really no difference between the ages of 25 and 40 and 45. So, I guess all 20 years were just all elite. (laughs) There's a huge difference there. Yeah. Uh, And they put it, I think, at 12. Or 11 for intermediate. And then if you get into the 260 plus category, they even still lift, like put it at 10. Wow. We're talking strict pull ups in a row, right? <laughs> to me, that seems a little out there. That's a little high, man. We got to keep in mind that this data is those that work out and record it. There's over three, yeah. I think there's yeah. over three. Or maybe thirty million yeah. lifts logged on yeah. this, right? So we don't, we didn't see them. They may be kipping. It's all a database, so we got to think that it's less than that. But the question is, really, what can you and I do? What do you think you can do right now? Right now, right now. Like if we were to get up off this couch and mean, go do, do pull-ups, spoil it. I don't want. Let's go do it. Let's go yeah. do it. Yes. Yeah. We're. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go downstairs. Yep. We're going to refire this thing back up, and we're going to see where we're at. Can these kind of fit kind of fat dads? I mean, I know I know where I'm at. I don't want to hear you're whining about this. I'm not whining about it. I'm just telling you. The truth. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm accepting. Before we go, always do a proper warm-up. I always put your kind of fit kind of fat dads. I didn't even have my coffee this morning. I got to go in here and test my dominance on pull-ups or lack of dominance. Got to have a proper warm-up to do one to two pull-ups. Yo, big boy, you ready? You ready? Oh, I go. Yo, you're going first. Oh, I'm going first. You're going first. Yeah. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get the embarrassment, okay? Now that we're here, Again, I'm going to say this again. I hate pull-ups. I've hated pull-ups since I started my fitness career. And you're about to see more. I heard a bunch of whining. It is whining. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Whining. So, average man should be able to do... What was it? 14? 14. That's right. Kind of fit, kind of fat dads. Put it in the 10. So, let's see what you got here, buddy. That's it. Our, um, Half. Half. That's it, bro? That's it. We're going to need another try. No. Though. We're going to need one more try at that. Are you going to you, you neutral grip? Go neutral grip. Well, let's, we got to get some. Uh, woo. There we go. Hey, pull ups. Well, I guess we know who's not a man. That's right. So maybe, maybe a man shouldn't be able to, to do pull ups. <laughs> Thoughts on that? Thoughts on that. I've hated strict pull ups since day one. Well. To be fair, he can deadlift almost 600 pounds, and he ran an Ironman. So we'll give him credit. We'll give him credit. I'm kind of fit. Kind of fit. Not not all the way fit. And kind of fat. Kind of fit. All right. So we just saw what Blair could do. Now it's your turn. All right. So uh, how many are you getting? There's no telling. So to be fair, I'm making excuses here, but I did do pull ups yesterday. Okay. So that means you're primed and ready. Primed and ready. If 10's the answer, I'm not. Uh, I think you're going to be more of a determined, more of a man than me. Are uh, we going to? Are we? Locking shoulder blades here and hey man, just pull. Alright. I don't care. Alright. Here we go. It's a false count. Ah, oh. So, so G Money is a man. How many was that? I don't even know. I don't know. I lost count. I'm I lost count. That was enough. <sighs> well, don't make me do that again. I hope you got anything in that shot. I did. <laughs> no, I wasn't recording. Oh, no! I wasn't recording. Oh! 
my biceps hurt so bad. It's like my virgin arms have never done that many pull-ups. <laughs> I'm hurting. My forearms are on fire. It took me six months to get over biceps and I just think it's and you just feel all it right there. Hey, all for the videos, man. Watch our other videos. We got the bench press video. We got the deadlift video right here on the side. Click on it. Keep watching. Yeah, See I you guys. It. See you. Bye.